I'm here with Shane McNeely, senior linebacker of the UNH football team. So Shane, it's your last year here at UNH. Tell us a little bit about how your senior year is going so far. Uh, you know, it's been going well. Um, can't really complain. You know, we started off you know, a little rough with Toledo and, you know, we've turned it around and taking it day by day, game by game. And so far we, we're doing well and we got one more left at Maine. The football team has been doing a great job this season. You guys had your ninth straight win of the season last Saturday against Delaware. Tell us a little bit about that game and how you guys prepared for that. You know, like like everything else, each week we just take it day by day, uh, practice by practice, and you know, work on the little things. And you know, it was a great great week of preparation, and it came out, we came out successful at, at the game. I know you guys have a lot of pressure on you this week, it being main week, one more game left of the regular season. Um, how are you guys preparing for this emotionally and physically? You know, same same thing. You know, taking it one day at a time. Um, Maine's a big week for us. We get to play for the musket, and you know it's important that we keep it here in Durham. The uh, players and Coach Mack have been pretty humble about the current number one ranking. Um, can you talk a little bit about this? Uh, you know, it's not. A lot of us don't really think of it much, but you know, it, it's cool to think about. But you know, we just got to take it each day at a time. It, those those rankings don't really matter until you know at the end of the season who's number one. At. How do you try to be a leader as a senior, especially with the other linebackers? You know, I you know I try to help them out. You know, show them different formations, different you know, uh, personnel. You know, they always ask me a lot of questions, so I just try to help them out because I was once in their shoes when I was a sophomore when Maddie and Buzz used to help me out. So just try to give it back to them. And the players seem to have a like a really tight bond. Tell me a little bit about your relationships with them. Uh, you know, this team is is very family ori oriented, and it's it's nice because. You know, we can all go go out to the dining halls. We can all go out, you know, downtown and hang out with each other. It doesn't matter who you are, what year you are. It's a it's a close knit family. And that's pretty cool. Do you personally or any of the other teammates have any pregame rituals? Um, not really. I, I got to get my ankles taped by uh, Cindy, you know, before every game. One of our uh, trainers. Um, I really don't have much of that. I am a little superstitious. I wear the same shirt underneath uh, each game, and you know I have a routine what I do when I go out in the field. But um, that's probably it. Any plans after your graduation? Oh, um, no. Nah, I'm just looking forward to you know finishing up the season well and um, enjoying my, the next semester as a as a, just a regular college student. All right. Thank you, Shane, and good luck at your next game. Thank you very much.